Welcome to today's demonstration. In this demonstration, we will use Armory Spinnaker to build a GKE cluster inside of Google Cloud. The platform used in this demonstration is version 2.24.1 of Armory Spinnaker, which itself has been deployed into an EKS cluster running on AWS. Diving into the configuration of this pipeline, we can see two parameters. We have environment and several options, and we have region again with several options. These parameters can of course be codified in our source code and give us effectively a zero touch pipeline. If we wanted an automated trigger for this pipeline, that can be specified at this initial stage as well. Once these parameters have been gathered, the next stage is a Terraform plan named as a stage here. We can specify what version specifically we want to use of Terraform. And we've specified our artifact source, the Terraform manifests stored in GitHub. Um, we've taken our parameters, as you can see here, region and environment, and we're using them to construct a subdirectory from where we will execute our Terraform manifests. Without further ado, let's execute the pipeline. We can see here our environment and our options. We can see here our region and our options. I'm going to proceed with the defaults. Now that the job has started, we can see the execution status and begin to drill down into the detail. We can look at the console output. For those of you who've used Terraform already, you'll recognize this output. It's in exactly the same format that you get if you were running Terraform directly on your own command line. We can see that a plan has been generated and saved into a temp directory. We can see that our change has been budgeted here. We've got 13 resources to add zero to change and zero to destroy. That plan itself has been saved in an artifact. An artifact is a piece of, I guess, source information that we can use later on in our pipeline in an additional stage, or even in a completely separate pipeline altogether. We can see that our plan created in 20 seconds and that it completed successfully. Let's go in and add a bit more detail to our pipeline. So I want to start with a manual judgment. We're going to ask the user, do you want to proceed to build a new cluster? And let's say that um, beyond our manual judgment, we want to do something, in effect, apply our plan. So let's take the TF plan, uh, or the manual judgment, and we'll copy an existing stage, which is our TF plan, and then go in and modify it. We'll call this stage TF apply. We will leave our Terraform version the same, but we will change our action to apply. We'll leave the rest the same and we will save our change. So let's now take a step back and rerun our pipeline. Again, we'll stick with the defaults. But we can see now that our progress bar has been split down into three stages. Each obviously part represents the individual stage that we're at. We know that this TF plan is going to take 20 seconds. And here we go, the TF plan is complete, completed and the next stage is our manual judgment. And it's asking us if we want to stop or proceed. We can answer that here manually. 
perhaps we can answer it from here if we're down in the detailed view. Do you want to proceed? I've got poor seed, but never mind. Let's continue. So we've progressed onto the apply stage now. We can again visualize the output of this. I'll pause the video here and we can resume once the pipeline is completed. The pipeline is now completed. And as you can see, it completed successfully in six and a half minutes. We can inspect the job output. And can validate the deployment by taking a quick look into the GCP dashboard. That concludes this demonstration. If you'd like any further details, feel free to post your questions in the comments below. This has been Mark James for Airwalk Reply. Thank you for watching.